Yo, what is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the blasted mission here in the MWZ. Now, in order to get started on this, you actually have to destroy the armor on 25 different zombies with the Shatter Blast perk. Now, if you guys don't know how to get the Shatter Blast perk, I'll very quickly show you guys how to do it. But it's not guaranteed that this will work every single time. So you may have to do this step a few times over until it actually does drop. So in order to get the Shatter Blast mod on your weapon, you can either Pack-a-Punch it a few times and get very lucky, or you can try to get it to drop by going to one of the stashes here. So you will want to find an Aether Nest. Now there will be a bunch of nests located all around the map, but they spawn in randomly. So what you want to do is continuously loot these nests until eventually you do get the drop that you need. So I did about 4 or 5 of these in the level 1 zone and was not able to get it to drop. But after going into the level 2 zone, it dropped on my first try. So you may want to try going into the level 2 zone if you're having trouble collecting this weapon drop. So just find all of the different nests located around the map and begin looting them as much as you can. Now when you get into the nest, you will want to have a gas mask because there's going to be a bunch of gas and zombies inside. So you have to be kind of careful when clearing these out. Now in order to get the gas to go away, there's going to be a bunch of yellow orbs around the compound or wherever you're at so just destroy all of the yellow orbs and eventually the gas will go away so these are the orbs i'm talking about now once you have destroyed all of the orbs a special chest which can only be found in these areas will open and the weapon mods have a chance of dropping inside of those chests so you may have to clear out a few of these different nests until eventually you get the proper mod in order to complete the challenge so this is just going to be step one is going and getting this mod now, unfortunately, once you have applied the mod to your weapon, if you die or you exfil, the mod will be gone and you'll have to start this step over again the next time you drop in. So just keep that in mind. You want to try to get this all done in the same match if you can. So eventually clearing this place out will allow you to open up the big purple chest, as you can see here. So once all of the yellow orbs are destroyed, you should be able to go and open the chest. So this was the last one I had to destroy right here in this corner. And when we open the chest, you'll notice that a bunch of different mods spawn. But you want to make sure that you get the Shatter Blast mod. And now this may not spawn every single time, so you may have to do a few of them until eventually you get the Shatter Blast mod to spawn. Now once you pick up the Shatter Blast mod, whatever weapon you have on, it will, it will apply to that weapon. And you'll see it here in the bottom right corner next to your weapon. So you'll notice the Shatter Blast icon is now on the weapon because it has that perk on it. Now from here, what you want to do is the next step of the quest. Now this step is actually a little bit weird and hard to complete. So in order to complete this next step, what you have to do is knock the armor off of 25 zombies. Now this can be a little bit difficult to do because sometimes you'll kill the zombies before the Shatter Blast perk activates and it won't actually count as progress for this. So this part took me about 20 to 30 minutes just to complete. But if you try hard enough, I think you can get it all done in the same match. You just have to make sure you're in the right area. So if you come over to this area in between zone 2 and zone 3, you're going to want to make sure that your weapon is pack-a-punched at this point and you have it leveled up as much as you can. And then you want to come right over here in between zones 2 and zone 3. So it's right between the orange and the red zone. Now what you're going to want to do once you get to this area is try to group up the zombies as much as you can. Now some of the zombies will have armor on and some of them won't, so what you want to do is try to shoot at the zombies that don't have armor on and get the perk to proc so that the explosion actually blows up the armor off of the other zombies. So I know it kind of sounds confusing, but basically all you have to do is run a train and keep shooting at them with this weapon until eventually the perk procs and blows up, causing an explosion to knock some of the armor off. Now I found the easiest way to do this is actually to go into the level 3 zone. So you want to come right over here onto the level 3 zone. If you cross this bridge, you can stand right here in this spot. Don't go too deep into level 3 because if you do, you're going to get swarmed and you can get killed extremely fast. As you're going to see, it's going to happen to my teammate here in just a second. So don't go too far into zone 3. Just go far enough that the zombies start to chase you. This will cause an instant train to be made and then you can bring them back into zone 2 and it'll give you plenty of space to actually line the zombies up and get this challenge completed. So as you can see, we don't have very much progress just yet, but as we run through this, you'll see that I start to earn progress for this challenge. Now, you're going to have to do this to 25 different zombies and it's not easy, let me tell you, but this is the best method that I could come up with to get it done. So as you can see, there's going to be a few bosses that spawn as well and it is not easy, but... 
as they start to chase you, you can kind of just run back into zone two. And if you have plate carriers and stuff, you shouldn't have a problem with this. Just be on the lookout because these zombies are pretty strong, so you don't want to get too close to them. But all you have to do is wait for the zombies to spawn in. As you can see, we finally got them all grouped together. And as you begin to shoot at them with this perk on that we just applied earlier, the explosion has to knock the armor off of some of the other zombies. Now, the reason why you want to do this in the level 3 zone is because almost every zombie here has armor on, making it a lot easier. Now, you can do it in the level 2 and level 1 zones, but the weapon is so strong and so powerful that it kills them most of the time before knocking the armor off. So it makes it a little bit harder. This is the easiest way that I found to honestly get it done is to come into level 3, make a train, and then just kill all the zombies until eventually you get all 25 of the points. So hopefully this video does help you guys out to get this challenge. So far, this was honestly one of the most challenging challenges that they've had for us so far. So hopefully this does help you guys out to get it done a little bit easier. And if you need help with any of the other challenges, just be sure to check out my channel because I've been uploading guides on how to complete every single one in the game. So hopefully this helps you guys out and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.